Hey guys, what's up? This quick video is to answer the question what is the best exercise for a specific body part, right? Or muscle group. Well, the method I use to find that answer is quite simple. Pull out a piece of paper and a pen. Fast forward. Alright. Normally, what I do is I write down from 1990 to now, I write down the list of all the Mr. Olympia winners, all the bodybuilders that won Mr. Olympia from 1990 to now. That'll give you, you know, Dorian Yates, and um, you can count Lee Haney if you want, but Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman, and Jay Cutler. I mean, there's not a lot. If you want, you can also name second place winners, right? So, first and second place winners for 20 years. I write them all down on a piece of paper, right? Then I compare them. For chest, for example, I, I write chest on a piece of paper, right, chest, and I look at out of all three of them or six or how many people you, you, you know, you, put, you, you actually wrote down, you can also write down your favorite body builders. Write down who has the best chest, right, out of all these people that you just wrote down. Obviously, we're using the best of the best. If we talk about Mr. Olympia's here, we're talking about the best of the best. Pick out whoever has the best chest, right? Write them next to chest. What you're going to do is, you're going to look at the chest workout. It's that simple. See what they do for chest. There's so many things you could do for chest, right? So many different, different different workouts that different bodybuilders do. But the one that has the best chest, I know you're thinking, well, it's probably good genetics. Yeah, genetics play, play a big part, but the kind of exercise they do is crucial because most of them stick to the same routine over the years, right? For example, me, my person, my favorite bodybuilder of all time is, has to be Kevin Leroney. I just like everything about. I just, I just love Kevin Leroney. He never won first place, but in, you know, to me, he's like you know, Dylan Crown, Mr. Olympia, and I like Flex Wheeler and a lot of other guys. But uh, Kevin Leroney, by far, one of my favorite bodybuilders, right? When it comes to triceps, like when I go to the triceps part, I write down Kevin Leroney, hand down, hands down. Like that's the triceps that I want to have. He has, to me, the best triceps and the best shoulders, but we're not talking about shoulders now. So I write down triceps, Kevin Leroney, and I go on YouTube and I look at his, his tricep workouts. What does he do for triceps, right? Obviously, if he has those huge developed triceps, his workouts have to work, because think about it, these guys, they're pretty much all taking the same for performance and enhancing supplements, you know what I'm saying? Or drugs, whatever you want to call it. So it's not just the hormones that are making them big, like that's also the exercises they're doing, the, the nutrition and stuff like that, but right now we're talking about workouts. So I write down Kevin Aroni went for triceps and I look at his tricep workout. All right, for example, he does close grip bench press, the extension, I forgot how you call that, and dips, right? That's all he does, but it works for him. So I write that down. Then for chest, I pick, I don't know, like I like Flex Wheeler's chest. To me, he has, you know, he had a gray body, slim waist, so I write Flex Wheeler or Arnold, even though it's not in the last 20 years, write down. Like I said, whoever has the best chest and see what they do for chest. For quads, same thing. For biceps, same thing. Shoulders, same thing. Back, same thing. Write down from that list of bodybuilders who has the best chest, best traps, best shoulders, best whatever. And just stick them in the chart, right? And then find out what they do and look for the common threads, right? Like, um, if you notice... I don't know how to explain this. Like pretty much just whatever whatever they're doing for that specific body part has to work for them. Dexter Jackson, for example, he has some amazing traps, right? I love his traps. I just look at his trap workout, right? He does a lot of side laterals and upright rows. He he actually doesn't do shrugs, which is surprising. Uh, I think he mentioned that, I forgot what, in the magazine, where he, he actually doesn't like doing shrugs. He, never, he actually doesn't do them. Just upright rows and side laterals. And he has some great traps. So, I could incorporate that into my, my shoulder workout. I'm still going to do shrugs. You know, fuck that. I'm still going to do shrugs because my genetics are not pretty good on this area. But that gives you an idea that, hey, man, if it works for him, you should try doing upright rows, right? And if this method really works. That's how I come up with my workouts. I don't just go to the gym and go, well, I think I like this exercise better. No. For example, back. Dorian Yates, by far, has probably the best back. Right from the back or the front, you, you can see his freaking lats hanging out, like he's you know, freaking another version of Spider Man or something. So, I look at his back workout, 
the amount of sets he does, how he does them, you know. You're not going to copy exactly his entire workout because, like I said, you're not on the supplements and drugs they're on, but it'll give you an idea. And if you want, you can actually take it down and take it up a notch and actually, instead of looking at just one person's chest workout, you can pick the top two people or top three people on your list that have the, the you know, that have the best chest, in your opinion, and just look at all three of them, look at the chest workouts, right? And find the common thread. Find the one thing that the, all three of them are doing. Write that down. That exercise has to work. For example, for triceps, you could write down three people out of that list that you think have the best triceps, right? And you look at all three of them. You look at the tricep workouts and look for the common thread. What the what do all of them have in common in the tricep workout? What exercises do all three of them do? Write that down. This method works like a charm. I I'm actually gonna make a video showing you guys the results that I came up for me abs pick three people out of that list of top bodybuilders who have the best abs look at the ab workout see look for the common thread and just write down that workout it must work if three of the top people in the world are doing it you know uh biceps same thing i like i like lee priest's biceps but you know i also there's a lot of people out there with good biceps just pick three people that you feel have the best biceps and um look at their workouts all three of them and look for the common thread what do they have in common in the bicep workout and eventually you end up with a list of the best exercises for each muscle group right and yeah man that's a that's a quick way i call it filtering that's the best way to filter all these fucking exercises because some of the exercises are just for show i'm telling you some of these exercises just don't work unnecessary you know just not worth it also you also know this for example kevin Lavoni, he does for he has some great shoulders right he does behind the back shoulder press, which I recently started doing, and I'm seeing some results already. A lot of people say, oh, it's in, give you injury, blah, blah, blah. Bodybuilding is a dangerous sport. You're going to get injured regardless. Even even your muscles growing, what do you think you're doing? You're going to the gym, you're raping your muscle fibers, and they rebuild. Injury is going to happen, even if you avoid it. We have a proverb in Africa that says, if you run from the line, you'll eventually go home exhausted, put your hand on a wall, and the snake will bite you. That's the African proverb, obviously, there, you know, in the village. There's no lions here, but pretty much saying you, you're going to run from a lion, go home and put your hand on the wall, and the snake is going to bite you. Or you, you can run from a, a, a thief and fall into a hole and break your leg. So running from one thing, you eventually just go into something else, right? So just don't worry about injuries, right? I'm not saying go there purposely and, like the Hodge twin say, snap some shit up. But if an exercise is dangerous, but you know you can benefit from it, Try it. I do deadlifts. I do squats. I got a bad hip. I got a bad lower back, but I don't care. I mean, pain. What is it? It's just pain, right? It's just, just going to hurt while you're in there. After a while, it's just going to go away. It might come back, but it's only pain, right? Come on, guys. Stop making a big deal out of these things. You know, it's going to hurt your rotator cuff, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you might do all the safe exercises in the gym and look like fucking Mickey Mouse come, come summertime. Or you might try to be the safest guy on earth and then get hit by a car anyway. So it's pointless. If you're going to go to the gym, go hard or go home. So yeah, that's it. That's my advice for the best exercises. Uh, also, you can click on this link here. Louis Marco, I believe, <clears throat> made a video a while back about who he feels has the best body parts out of, in, in, in bodybuilding. Best abs, best shoulders, best back. It's a great video. Just click on that link and then um, from there you go into another link and He'll, he'll go more in details about, you know, why he picked whoever. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Ask me more questions.